one of the um, other criteria, and, and this is in conjunction with that ability to be on work, on time, stay on task, um, be consistent, be a reliable mm -hmm. employee, is perhaps even more of a problem, and, and I, I can see where it might be for you, is to be able to maintain a consistent mood at work without either being distracted by your coworkers or having your moods distract them. Do you have trouble with that? They would distract me more than my moods because one, I couldn't handle office gossip. I couldn't handle people always coming to me with advice or asking for advice or telling me how much they dislike this other worker. Kind of put me in the middle. That would really aggravate me. Is that because you only had so much that you could focus on at one time and worrying about the, the personalities and politics of other people was more than you could handle? Yes. Well, I could focus on the work great. But when the human condition started focusing in to the work, I couldn't do it. Did that create sort of an artificial um, gap boundary between you and your coworkers because you weren't as good at just that social, friendly, talk about things kind of? It, it became a hindrance. Can you explain? Um, my job when I was in Louisville, when I was working at Fazoli's, great example. Um, most of the time I had a routine to where I wouldn't, I didn't work the cash register and I didn't make the food, so don't worry. Um, but like when I was out on the floor, if there was a lot of people there, I kept in my business, I wouldn't really talk to the other employees. I would, you know, have friendly conversations here and there with the uh, customers. But when it was no one was there and it was just me and a couple other employees on the floor i could have got i was drawn into their office politics i guess another area that it's necessary for any employee to have some ability is to make um, judgments make simple re work related decisions um, avoid hazards and take appropriate precautions do you have problems with that Most of the places, I don't, the only one I had hard with accommodations was Big Lots in Louisville. They didn't, they had a hard time accommodating me, like letting me sit when I needed to, having my cane there if I needed it. And that would probably push into the issue of me quitting there. And that would have been um, right around 2000? That was... Right before I moved back up here, I think that was in 2002. And you moved back to Wisconsin in 2003? And you've been in Wisconsin for the last 10 years? Huh? Yes. Nine years. 